The 19 plus drinking age doesn't leave many nightlife or entertainment options for those under age. According to a survey conducted by the province and Blueprint Events, a slim majority at 56% said that they'd be in favour of more all-age events in Vancouver. So we head out to see exactly what people think of these findings and try to take a stab at what is too young to party. So um, what do you think about all-age events? Pretty good. I mean, if we have them consistently throughout the year. But it depends where. I mean, if it's probably downtown, um, maybe closer to the art gallery and stuff like that, to Stanley Park. But probably never near Granville or stuff like that. Or why not? Um, probably because of the clubbing scene and uh, just what's like been going on there. I think if it's an all day or a festival or some sort, that should be open for everybody. But things that go late into the night, I think should have an age restriction on them. As far as like kids being able to see like events like bands, it's kind of lame if they can't because they are underage. And it's fun for everyone. I've never had my day ruined by a kid going weird. I think it's a great way to promote the city and the events and the cultural activities and such. What do you think is too young to party? 16 and under. Maybe once you're done high school, I guess, you should start partying. So yeah, I mean, teenagers these days, they, they know their way around, right? 14 or 16, somewhere around there, I would say. I think like 15 is probably when I would start enjoying it. So it makes it, at that point it's worthwhile. I don't know what point it's going to corrupt children and ruin them or make it weird for the old people. University age would be appropriate, but I would think high school may be a bit too young. 16-year-olds, uh, 15-year-olds, you know, that, I think that would be a little bit too young. I think um, 18 and over would be um, okay. For the province.com, I'm Larissa Kahoot.